to establish an integrated building process, a working system needs to be created. And the system should be active as early as possible during the pre-design phase or even before deciding on the project location. Think about the following questions. How is the climate in the project's location? What type of heating and cooling system should be installed? How should the building be oriented in order to get more sunlight into the building? Is there enough rainfall on the location to capture and use rainwater for irrigation? What are the project owner's goals and requirements? How will the building occupants commute once the project is finished? What are the public transportation options? How will the resources and construction materials be transported to the project site? What are the building code requirements in the project's location? How does energy get to the site? What is the type of soil on site? Or what type of vegetation exists on site? They're really the type of questions that should be addressed during the earliest phase of the project. This is why the key in the integrated process is to integrate the whole project team early in order to develop an efficient project design and allow the project team to discover strategies. Taking actions late in the process will only result in delays and additional costs. It can also be noticed that most of the previous questions depend on the project's location. To turn the project goals into reality, a strong evaluation of the project location is mandatory. The project location should assist the project teams rather than creating challenges. The preferred sequence is to set the project goals first and then choose the location that best fits to those goals. If the sequencing is vice versa, project teams should still need to search and discover ways to establish project goals. However, they can also face more problems. Understanding the whole community is also essential for successful project integration. If people need to drive single occupancy vehicles to commute to a building, the project will generate greenhouse gas emissions. The climate in the project location is another factor which will impact all the building systems. The soil type will also change according to the location, which will affect the whole structural calculation of the building in turn and lead to changes in the whole structural design. As with a weak soil, a building can need a deep foundation. However, this may not be the case with other types of soil. Even the level of the underground water for a particular location can make a huge impact to the design and construction of the basement levels as well as the whole building. When evaluating the site, it is always recommended to work with experts such as hydrologists, engineers, ecologists, and project development consultants. Evaluating the Zoning and Local Codes, International Code Council, Americans with Disabilities Act, and all other applicable laws for that location at the beginning of the project is also essential. Most of the mentioned laws will depend on the project's location and they will take precedence over lead requirements. For example, zoning and local codes will determine the building height, type of project to be constructed, size of the building, or the minimum parking requirements for a particular location, not lead. Now, let's summarize the main principles of the integrated process. Rule number one, process matters. Or, in other words, the system should work efficiently. Rule number two, start early, which means that the system should be active as early as possible. Rule number three, follow through, which really means that the commitment should continue throughout the life of the project. It should not end with the completion of construction in order to ensure the project strategies are maintained and all the building systems are still efficient through the building operation phase. Rule number four, look beyond initial costs to long-term savings. Green strategies have very short payback periods and project stakeholders should be informed that their project will actually cost less in the long run. Rule number five, Include and collaborate. The professional project teams should work together with the members of the community and always look at the big picture. And to establish a working system among the project team members, stakeholders, and members of the community, an iterative process needs to be developed 